Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, welcome back to my channel. So today, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I use African threading method to get my super shrunken 4C hair from this to this. So keep on watching. So my hair is actually 14 inches long, but 4C hair experiences the most shrinkage, which means it can shrink as much as 10% of its true length because the curls are tighter than the other curl patterns. Shrinkage decreases the length of your hair and can cause tight curls to become knotted together. While shrinkage is perfectly natural and even indicates healthy hair, you may seek to reduce it and increase the length and make it more manageable to care for. Since my hair is super dry, I'm going to apply a generous amount of leave-in conditioner to the hair for moisture. This protects it from damage and helps to detangle the strands. Starting from the back, I'm adding more leave-in conditioner to a small section of hair and working it all the way in and detangling it with a comb to get all the tangles out. Using a black yarn, I'm simply going to hold half of the yarn down with my hair and use the other half to wind it around the section all the way down the length of my hair. So this is basically what I'll be doing for the rest of the hair. Apply leave-in conditioner, comb it out, and then thread it down. This method stretches the hair without having to use a blow dryer or a hair straightener, which prevents direct heat to your hair strands. African threading can also be worn as a protective style as the hair is safely covered in the thread wrapped around it leading to less manipulation. This is how the hair is looking, I'm going to leave it to air dry. You can sit under a hoodie dryer or use a hand dryer to speed up the drying process. My hair is completely dry right now and I ended up putting these elastic bands at the end to keep it from unraveling. So what I'm doing right now is pulling out the yarn from the hair. I went on an applied oil on my hair and scalp for hydration.
I'm going in with more oil on this section of hair and then separate it like pull the strands apart as you can see. I'm doing this just because I'm not going to be combing out my hair but you can use a comb to detangle it. And this is how we're looking guys. This is how I use African threading to stretch my kinky curly natural hair without having to use heat on it. Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. See you guys in my next one. Bye!